Hello and welcome to the Boeing Global Fleet Care Hangar here at Gatwick Airport. As you can see, the hangar comprises of structural steel frame. We've installed more than 2,800 Eurobond cladding panels. We've erected more than 3,000 tons of structural steel and we've laid more than 16,000 meters cubed of concrete in the hangar slab and in the apron slab. The project was jointly bid, won and delivered by UK South and UK Civils. The Civils works included groundworks, hangar slabs, pavement quality apron slab, foam suppression tanks and hard and soft landscaping. This amounted to 30% of the total contract value. The development comprises of a new build airside hangar with associated support and office facilities for the maintenance of commercial aircraft. The hangar is sized to house two of the largest aircraft in the Boeing fleet, the 777X and some smaller Boeing 737 aircraft. The project includes associated offices, stores, concrete apron and taxiway connections and external road access and landscaping works. The structural steel frame we erected a 75 metre long trusses which we've erected as a tandem lift with two 160 ton crawler cranes. The roof as you can see is split into two levels, we've got the high bay roof standing at 32 metres and then we've got the low bay roof slightly lower. The high bay giving that larger internal height to accommodate the tail fin of the aircraft. Within the hangar we've got 15,000 metres squared of floor space which we've coated in this white Seeker resin floor. Internal works consist of significant mechanical and electrical package of works which includes lift insulation, fire engineering and installation of heating and cooling services and equipment. Externally we have two water tanks. Each tank holds one and a half million litres of water. This water is fed into the sprinkler tank room via underground pipe work and it feeds four Clark diesel engines which are each 542 brake horsepower. The Clark diesel engines uh, power each, each one of them a pump and the pump delivers when fully operational 3,500 US gallons per minute or 21,000 litres of water per minute. The pumps feed the sprinkler and foam suppression systems. The sprinkler system is uh, high level in the hangar and it's also in the accommodation block, plant rooms and storage areas. The foam suppression system is a low level system and the activation is done by flame detectors that detect a flame by two flame detectors at any one moment. So once those flames are detected, the foam suppression goes into uh, full activation and we get foam concentrate mixing with the water and it uh, comes out of Viking nozzles within the trenches within the hangar. All the foam suppression and foam water mix goes into the drainage channels and is directed straight out to 13 underground tanks that also hold 3 million litres. Hi, I'm Andrew Digby, Operations Director at Designer Group. We've worked very closely on this facility with CISC to coordinate and install all the mechanical and electrical services. There's some good energy efficiency measures that have been put in place on the building. They include a large PV array up on the roof as the hangar, and in the accommodation block all the heating and cooling is via a ground source heat pump. The hangar benefits from high bay lighting and gas fired radiant heaters which are designed to de-ice the planes as well as providing a comfortable environment. The challenge of undertaking the majority of the works in the hangar was that everything was at such high level. The scale and structure of the building required multiple specialists working at the same time and it's a credit to our site teams that effective communication between the various parties has led them to such a successful delivery of this project. Boeing Gold Care, Gatwick Airport has been a great team effort and the facility looks fantastic. The project grew by over 20% due to some significant changes that were instructed by Boeing. Being joined up helped us react quickly and incorporate the variations into our programme of works. Overall, Boeing and the project have benefited from the one CISC approach and we have developed a model and a way of working for the future.